So the Echo Weed Eater, the SRM225, is going to earn its keep in my, uh, my arsenal of tools for lawn service. And what is all over it? I'm going to end up doing some maintenance to this thing. Probably the way it was sitting in my garage. But the exhaust is going to need to be cleaned out. The screen, the, the spark arrestor screen, I'm sure it has it in there. We'll do a video on that coming up on how to clean that out. Get the new air cleaner. I haven't been able to yet. Um, but I did take the shield off because I do not run shields on weed eaters. Um, they get in my way. I can't see when I edge and they hold me up from squeezing the head in between areas like uh, getting in between boxes, um, garden hose reels and stuff like that, you know. Um, so this allows me to work a circle like this around objects and the shield will mess me up, um, slows me down substantially. So um, I took that off. Also, I did re-spool the head and I don't know, this isn't one of them speed feed heads, is it? Because uh, if it is, it sucks. It, it only holds like three spools, like three arm lengths of line. And that's terrible. Um, so I don't think this is a speed feed head because everybody said speed feeds are like the shiznack. Um, so I'm going to assume that this is just a factory uh, Echo uh, crap head. So it says max RPM 10,000, whatever. I re-spooled it. Um, it's, not, it's not hard to do. We'll do it on video when I get more proficient at it. So I don't want to do a, a video on how somebody asked me to do a how-to video, and I will, uh, just not yet. Um, and if your line's not advancing on yours, take the cartridge out and flip it over and put it back in. That, that's probably why somebody commented. Um, but yeah, so I'm not going to show you guys how to take a shield off because you should run them. If you're used to them, keep them. If you're new to this, learn how to use it. Uh, me, I've been doing this for far too long, uh, and I'm not willing to learn new new tricks so um, I don't send rocks on people or through windows I don't have issues I'm careful uh, so all right so we're gonna go ahead and use this echo today um, so let me put this in the bed of my truck for right now and the good news is we're back two weeks ago today we did a video um, with this new client and it was gonna be a one-time cut and there was no promises that I was going to come back, well, they had me back. A lot of you guys were right. I mean, you do such a good job, you know. Um, they're going to call you back. And we did a really good job, and they called me back. You know, the price is right. The quality was good. Um, I don't know how long it's going to last. You know, I think he's still in the market to buy his own equipment, but they're just not there yet. So while we're back here, we'll put a nice edge on the fence again. Nice weed eat with it. Um, I got a new weed eater, so I need to be careful. Right? Um, we'll mow back here. We'll mow all the way in the back like we did last time. We're going to cut it down uh, to about two and three quarter inches. Um, last time we cut it at three. I want to get his yard up to about, or at two and a half last time. I want to get his yard up to about three. Um, he needs to put down a fertilizer pretty soon. Probably a nice malorganite this time of the year. Won't hurt anything. That's probably what he should, should consider doing. And I'll talk to him about that. Um, but. Hey buddy, I think he watches my videos. So hey, Malorganite, couple bags, spread it out. Easy to do, very easy. You can't mess it up. Just put it down, it won't hurt anything. Sweep it or blow it off the driveway, water it in. So we'll edge all around here. Um, there was quite a bit of weeds in these beds last time we cut. So what happened was uh, all the weeds got sprayed. So funny how that works. But yeah, all the weeds got sprayed. So you see there's no more weeds. They might have went around and pulled them out too um, once they were dead. But yep, so that's it. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to edge up all around the house and then we'll go ahead and mow. Um, like I said, two and three quarter inches. We still got the cross blades on. No reason for it, just what the hell. And then we'll go ahead and weed eat and tighten this yard up and get out of here.
So it's hot as balls, and balls are hot if they're hot balls, like balls, like meatballs, weirdos. So I'm gonna put you in the shade and mow the front yard. not buy a stander. This is the exact reason and it hasn't rained yet today. That's soaked. See the little black mark right there? That's soaked. Had I been about 320 pounds heavier with my weight plus the weight of a stander, I 
I would have gouged the shit out of that. That's why.
having serious issues with the heat today. Um, I'm gonna put you guys in the shade. Try to keep up. I like that little weed eater, man. I'd like it. It's lightweight. Um, it's peppy, but it needs a little bit more power. I think a new spark plug, and I think cleaning out the exhaust will make a huge difference. We're good. We're done. Like I said, we cut it at like two and three quarter inches. Um, it's a little bit higher than I like for being new grass, but we need to let it come up some. We need to get it thickening up. Um, so that's a good way to do it. Let's take a look at this backyard. Looks really nice. Fence came out nice and clean. The fence is already warping. It's a brand new fence and the wood with our humidity, our heat, it's already warping. You can hear it when I was weed eating. It was hitting all the, it's out, it's in. Sucks, man. But that's the way it is in the south. We got back there mowed pretty nice, so that works out good for him. A little extra backyard. A little free backyard, bonus backyard. I'd build a tree, a tree house up there. My house is back there. Actually, my house is down there. You follow this creek. This house right... Oh, I'm in somebody's backyard. <laughs> that red brick house right there through these trees. That used to be our HOA president, but he moved. Now we have a new president. Well, there you go. Here's your stripes. You guys like stripes. There's your stripes. Now, if we fertilize and we let it grow up some, it would stripe. But nobody wants their grass to be that tall. So, we'll see. Came out really nice. Edged up really nice. Edging the bed with the steel blade. And then if you have to, go back over it and clean it up with the weed eater. But after a couple of times, it'll be trained and you'll be good to go. You won't have to worry about that. Front yard looks nice and clean. I think they pulled all the weeds out themselves. I sprayed them. I think they pulled them. Looks good. Really good. That in the sidewalk, not really sure about that. Needs to call the, um, the builder. They still have the sales office open up there. They need to get that moved. I Man, I can't even budget. 
that's going to be a couple people got to pick that up with a shovel not sure why it's there and to clean out in the uh, front yard yeah I would definitely figure out a way to hide that even paint it green <laughs> paint it green put some dirt on it take a picture so you can show a plumber in 10 years what the hell <laughs> anyways there you go another fine job so thank you buddy thanks for having me back I appreciate you guys and thank you YouTube um, you know what at the end of this video I'm gonna link to a one minute long video I'll put it up here and I'm gonna link to the end it's going like gangbusters it's my son three years ago killing zombies it's going like gangbusters now like 300,000 views uh, on that video in 48 hours so uh, I'll put it there so you guys can check it out Matthew when he was younger all right guys I'll see you later and I'll see you on the next one tell me about the whistle. Oh, what is this?